as a well-spent day brings happy sleep, so a life well-spent brings happy death. Man and animals are in reality vehicles and conduits of food, tombs of animals, hostels of death, coverings that consume, deriving life by the death of others. Experience does not err. Only your judgments err by expecting from her what is not in her power. The human foot is a masterpiece of engineering and a work of art. I have been impressed with the urgency of doing. Knowing is not enough, we must apply. Being willing is not enough, we must do. He who loves practice without theory is like the sailor who boards ship without a rudder and compass and never knows where he may cast. While I thought that I was learning how to live, I have been learning how to die. Knowledge of the past and of the places of the earth is the ornament and food of the mind of man. Necessity is the mistress and guide of nature. Necessity is the theme and inventress of nature, her curb and her eternal law. For once you have tasted flight you will walk the earth, with your eyes turned, skywards, for there you have been, and there you will long to return. In rivers, the water, that you touch is the last of what has passed and the first of that which comes, so with present time. Iron rusts from disuse. Water loses its purity from stagnation. Even so, does inaction sap the vigor of the mind. Anyone who conducts an argument by appealing to authority is not using his intelligence, he is just using his memory. As every divided kingdom falls, so every mind, divided between many, studies confounds and saps itself. I have offended God and mankind because my work didn't reach the quality it should have. There is no object so large but that at a great distance from the eye it does not appear smaller than a smaller object near. Just as food eaten without appetite is a tedious nourishment, so does study without zeal damage the memory by not assimilating what it absorbs. Why does the I see a thing more clearly in dreams than the imagination, when awake. Marriage is like putting your hand into a bag of snakes in the hope of pulling out an eel. You do ill if you praise, but worse if you censure what you do not understand. Medicine is the restoration of discordant elements. Sickness is the discord of the elements infused into the living body. The poet ranks far below the painter in the representation of visible things, and far below the musician in that of invisible things. It had long since come to my attention that people of accomplishment rarely sat back and let things happened to them. They went out and happened to things. The human bird shall take his first flight, filling the world with amazement, all writings with his fame, and bringing eternal glory to the nest whence he sprang. The function of muscle is to pull and not to push, except in the case of the genitals and the tongue. Many are they, who have a taste and love for drawing, but no talent. And this will, 
be discernible in boys who are not diligent, and never finish their drawings with shading. There are three classes of people. Those who see, those who see when they are shown, those who do not see. I have always felt it is my destiny to build a machine that would allow man to fly. Weight, force and casual impulse, together with resistance, are the four external powers in which all the visible actions of mortals have their being and their end. The painter who draws merely by practice and by eye without any reason, is like a mirror which copies everything placed in front of it, without being conscious of their existence. 